to World of Warcraft. Burning Crusade Classic Blind. We've got a lot of quests to turn in. Starting over here with this guy. Marl Grain Research. We managed to grow some of these and then buy the rest. But we've got enough now. Have you grown some Marl Grain for the Archdruid's important research? The work he is doing for the Cenarian Circle is very important, and your assistance will not go unnoticed. Yes, here we go. Well done, Eric Erickson. I'll be sure to give these to the Archdruid himself when he has need of them. Meanwhile, please accept this as a token of the Cenarian Circle's appreciation. Our need for moral grain is a continuous one. If you wish to continue aiding us, then please return to me when you have cultivated additional moral grain for us. We get some kind of box of something. And then this gives us some reputation. That's one way to grind out some reputation with these guys. And then we could take this again to give them more moral grain. May the stars guide you. But probably won't do that. Got a little bit of experience there. That's good. Let us open this up, see what we get. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of different stuff. My. My goodness. Let us, let's move some stuff around here. Uh oh. Oh, we got the bars going. Yeah, I added new add-on here for additional bars specifically this one here which I moved into position to be right above all my other ones but I still have these ones on the side on don't really need that so let us let's see if we can turn off bar 4 bars unlocked move them now we can just move the bars like that huh that's cool bar 1 there's our reputation bar. Six, five, two, stance bar. Alright, this is this is more convenient. Previously I've been trying to go in through here. And then moving them with this offset numbers thing. Let's turn off bar four. Yeah. Previously this button was hiding behind the bulletin board button so I didn't notice it. That's pretty good. There's a vehicle bar. Don't know what that means. I'm sure I'll be fine. Everything's looking good. Had to re-put in some keybinds here. Killed that squirrel. Okay. We will monitor this. See if anything funky happens. We can put a variety of things up here, I suppose. Okay. We can store some of this stuff in uh, the bank here, though. I am on. Right, we can store stone. Iron ore will sell later. Each of cost good. Probably don't need this. I'll keep it anyway. And while we're here, what do we want? Increase mouse speed by three percent. That just sounds good. We'll take that. So that will lower lower our health by fifty. Put this on. I don't think we need to use this or anything for the mount speed. Sounds pretty good though. We can always bring one of these to switch out for the Caradon stick. 
probably not too necessary. Store the mithril ore. Yeah, more healing potions here than we really need. That's food. That's mana. That's not something we want. Uh, but I did a, what's this helmet like? Got no strength. Don't really need that. Food. The fakest auction price I've ever seen. That just restores mana. Agility three. Sure. Lesser stone shield potion. Increases armor by a thousand for a minute and a half. Fascinating. Uh, what are we going to do with all this? Really need to use these at some point here. Yeah, this, this plate head that we have here. It's got 12 strength, a whole bunch of armor. Then we'll just sell the Helm of the Exile. Just to sell. That's the only... I think we're going to be going to an auction at any point here. I'm going to put some stuff in here for potential auctioning at some point here. And that we can just sell to a shop. And this we will keep for the time being. Maybe just sell that. So what protection for? That's 240. It lasts for 30 minutes instead of a minute and a half. So there's something there. Go in. Okay. Continuing on, we have another quest nearby that we can turn in. Just outside this magical tree portal thing in Matheran Village. In this house. And upstairs. Goddess, bless you. So we finally returned, Eric Erickson. And you've brought the perf and you've brought the contraption that Krogo built for me. Perfect. We took a picture, and we have the camera. Well, Krogo's invention lived up to its expectations. Don't get too excited, but do know that I am pleased with your work, Eric Erickson. Now where did I leave that book? They've got another quest for us. Here it is, Eric Erickson. Please take care of my book. Now hurry along. Sure. Troyes is eager for your return. Let the book to Troyes Moonbreeze and Feathermoon Stronghold. Well, we are actually going to Feathermoon Stronghold, so I'll take that quest. I'm going to try not taking too many quests right now, since we're getting very close to being able to just go to a whole new places, whole new quests. But I will see, just for curiosity's sake, what some of these other quests are. Find Ranshawa. Yes, yes, these feathers seem to hold the same magical enchantment I noticed previously. Uh, this is just, this is another Wild King quest in Winter Spring. Goodbye. Yeah. So we will not be doing that one right now. There's going to be a lot of quests that we're just kind of skipping over. Because. There's more quests that exist than you need to do to get your levels up. I think that the changes to the amount of experience stuff takes probably also plays a big part in that. Featherman. 
Oh, that's the... That's the button for that. I don't like where that is. So we move the vehicle bar. Oh, don't move, don't move bar two. Had that perfectly centered. Um, let's see if we can get a little bit more specific here with the vehicle bar. Positioning. Yeah, slot that right down in here. Perfect. Takes a bit of extra fiddling, but we're getting there. Everything's all customizable. The reason I wanted to mess with all this was because the only other option for ability bars was over here behind my inventory and pushing the quests over. And yeah, I could move the inventory here, but eh. Not, not too interested in that. So I will enjoy our nicely lined up ability bars we got here. As we fly over, to Feather Moon Stronghold. Alright. Here we are over here. Saw that quest earlier. Probably for Dire Mall. Which is unlikely. We can turn in this quest to this guy though. Greetings. Have you been to Darnassus? Yes. Yes I have. You've brought a book along. Excellent. That is what you asked for. Farewell. For Alice, a history. Let me examine this for a moment. Amazing. I think I found it. What do you find? What do you find? That's another low-level quest. What did you What did you find? Just for curiosity's sake. The staff might be the staff of Equinex. The staff of Equinex is actually a key. You to unlock the Equinex monolith in the ruins of Ravenwind on the mainland west of the Dream Bow. Find the four flames that still burn in those ruins, Sal Imel, Ben, and Lassa, their essence, and then while standing in the Equinox monolith, use the essence to energize the staff. This will be. Truly is the staff of Equinex. It will be able to unlock the monolith and gather a sacred artifact. You get a sparkling stone. Quest item. Interesting. But not right now. Or probably ever. Also, it's a lower level quest too, so that doesn't help. Increase my interest in doing it. I'm sure there is... Plenty of interesting stuff that we could have done or could do. It's just that there's even more interesting stuff that we could do instead, so. It's just options. Next up, we will get rid of the other half of this Morrow Brain to be done with that. Looking for 10 Marl grain. That should be enough to at least get my research started. I'll no doubt burn through a lot of those going down wrong paths, but such is the nature of research. What are they up to? Gah, these Marl grain make me feel weird. What is the name of a loon? What in the name of a loon, Staghelm, is a loon? What in the name of a loon is Staghelm up to with these things? Anyways, thank you again for your help. Here's a little something, you know, for the effort. My research on Morrowgrain is going to take a while, and no doubt I'm going to need more. I'm at it, so as I could take the time to see if Morrowgrain have some permanent alchemical uses. Still, I feel uncomfortable even being around them. That's pretty concerning. That's pretty concerning. Choose your reward. Cloth hands or plate pauldrons. 
that worse armor, one less strength, and four less spirit for five agility. Mm. It's also significantly more expensive to a vendor, so we're gonna take that one. Good luck, friend. And a little bit of XP. We're gonna take a look at these, even if we're not gonna use them. They give a little bit more agility, which is more crit chance. Spirit is health regen, which I'm not a huge fan of. But still one less strength and a bit less armor. I mean, I guess agility does increase armor by a tiny amount. Slightly different model. Hmm. We're just going to stick with the ones we have. They're both perfectly acceptable options. And then if we wanted to, we could turn in piles and piles of more moral grain to that guy. Or the other guy. But the first reward is usually just the best one. Repeatable quests typically don't have amazing rewards. On that note, we're not going to need the evergreen pouch anymore, since we're not going to be making more of that stuff. Sure. And let's find... Let's sell this to the food and drink guy. Oh, we do have one piece, piece, of, piece of food here. So he can take that, gladly. He, he even sells them. Sells them for like five silver each. And buys them for two, but sure. And then we will sell this food and drink vendor. Oh, did we see what the helmet looked like? I think we did. Yeah, it's just the just a greenish version of the red helm we had before. Alright. Yeah. I'm pretty satisfied with what we have. So you can have this stuff. There you go. Alright. Greetings. Next location we need to go to is Tanaris. The quest we have there is with the filled egg of Hakar. Let's get over to Gadget Zen. All right, one egg filled with God something, something something. And I think we need to bring this over to the port. Yeah, no other quest symbols in here. All right, pretty interesting quest down there at the bottom of Sunken Temple. Resurrect a god just to kill them again and shove them in an egg. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever works, I suppose. I mean, the main question is, what's this guy want to do with this fancy egg thing? That's the real problem here. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure everything's gonna be A-OK. -okay. Just handing out random god parts to people. Typical. Typical explorations we do. Anywho. After this, we've got a few quests to turn in in Ungoro Crater. And then a few quests to actually do in Ungoro Crater, I believe. We got the haze. We gotta go to Winter Spring. That's an Angoro. Right, this one is a quest to do there. We get the Queen Brain. That's 
Let's go to Silithus. That's Mardon. And also, see if we can get the last handful of Blood Petal Sprouts to turn in that quest once. Here they are. The God Hakar. Have you defeated the Avatar of Hakar, Eric Erickson? Has his essence yet empowered the egg I gave you? Yep, I did those things. The essence of Hakar has been collected. Even now, the egg stirs with life. Could the myths of Hakar be true? That must not be true. For if it is, then I fear what Hakar may do if birthed again. Maybe you should have thought of that earlier, before we went through this whole thing. But I'm, I'm sure it'll be great. I'll keep this egg safe and be sure it does not fall into evil hands. Maybe we shouldn't have made it in the first place. Like, wow, this is a really dangerous thing we've made. That was a mistake. Uh, your labors with me are finished, Eric Erickson. You have touched a legend, and your actions may one day change the face of our world. Probably for the worst. Probably for the worst. What do we got here? We got a... Evangard Helm. A lot of armor. Lots of stamina. Bit of spirit, bit of agility, and no strength to be seen. A life force dirk. It's got similar amounts of stats as our other weapons, but it doesn't grant extra attacks and it doesn't have plus strength. So it's worse than what we have. And it is a dagger. It's interesting. Then a cloth headpiece, gem burst circlet. Increases damage and healing done by magic. So, probably don't want that. We don't really need any of these. This was close. I think this probably would have been a good replacement if we didn't have the nail of the tiger here. I think that would still probably have been better than the axe. But since we have the dire nail and the thrash blade, it's it's a close third place. So. We will just take that for its vendor price. Which is significantly higher than the other two. So, 3 gold 53 from that, plus another 2 gold 40. Very cool. And a whole bunch of experience. We can at least look at what it looks like, since we have it. current dagger looks like a talon, and this dagger looks like a dagger. Nifty. Our, our outfit is a hot mess, but that's okay. There's a prospector quest over here. Have we seen this one? I don't think so. Yeah. They have seen this guy outside here. We've talked to the guys inside this building before. What are you up to? Here they are. The Lost Tablets of Masharu. The troll with whom you spoke did not tell the truth. Oh. Was it that, that troll over there? The one we've been messing around with all this time? The, the troll that's over there being a liar, apparently. Oh no. Two tablets you gained for him spoke of containing the essence of Hakar. There is more to that legend. I've studied long and found that there are six tablets of Mushroom. Not two, six. I fear that we will not like what secrets the others hold. Find the third and fourth temples of Mushroom. They're in the eastern plague lens held by the Moss Flare trolls. Find them and bring them to me. Eastern plague lands, you say? We have not ever been there. And it's, it's a bit late in our leveling process here. To be starting a new location. But we're, just, we're just going to assume the worst. But this whole thing with this guy over here has been a huge mistake for us. Can I show you my wares? I'd like to buy from you. But that's a lie. I'd like to sell you this Life Force Dirk. With a name like that, you would think it would do something with life, like Life Drain or something, but no. Just a dagger. Right. If you ever need anything. Okay. 
Alright. Now we need to go to Ungoro Crater. And we also need to go to the very bottom. I don't know. I don't know if it. Yeah, we're all the way over here still. Um. It's probably still quicker to just take the flight path there and then run all the way to the bottom. Since we're in the area, we will just go complete that quest there. We're, we're probably going to get a few more quests that we need to return to Gadget Zan. Or Ungoro, though. Like, we have quests here. We need to take the sword to Winter Spring, and then presumably we'll have to take it back. So we will complete that quest and then come back to Ungoro to capture the Queen Head later. We're just going to be stopping by in Ungoro Crater today to turn in the one or two quests up there at Marshall's Refuge. After that, I'm going to make my way to Silthus. What are you doing? Just hanging out in a graveyard? Can I help you? Don't mind me. There's an old man waiting on an old friend. Hmm. See you around. Don Carlos and the White Stallion. Just. Hanging out in a graveyard, like you do. Good for them. Good for them. Anyway. Let's just fly on over there. Great to meet you. Nice and quick. Keep your safe. We spend a lot of money on flight paths because of how inefficiently we do everything. But we still have 252 gold, so I'd say that's pretty... It's going pretty well. Can't complain too much. So, so we get here. I'm going to be going to Silithus. Handing in the letter and then probably not taking the next quest. Which is also what we're going to do with these Black Rock Depths quest. We just need to talk to two people. And then decline the next stage of both of these quests. That'll allow us to get out of these dungeon quests without actually needing to go to the dungeon. The only one that would be left for that would be this Maradon quest. Which I might try before we head through the portal. Just by myself. Or we could wait till later. Presumably we're going to get significantly better equipment in Burning Crusade content. Which allowed me to more easily breeze through the legends of Mardon Quest. Find the pieces and speak to my brother somehow. I think that the brother was like one of the bosses further into the dungeon though. So we probably need to be either capable of soloing Mardon or find a group for it. I mean, here's some people. Selling Mara boosts. Looking for DPS healer and tank for Maradon. That's a lot. Probably not then. Probably not. Alright. Here's one. What can I do for you? Larian, it's not speaking to me. He sure knows how to hold a grudge. Here, have some haze. I admit, I'm a bit hesitant to touch that stuff, Eric Erickson. But if Gregan says it'll work, then I'm willing to give it a try. What's up with everybody finding things that they shouldn't be touching? Or contain horrible evils, or... Meh. Concerning. Concerning. I think there's another quest about the Blood Petal Sprouts. Here's the plan, Eric Erickson. 
Go out and collect some blood petal sprouts, you know, the plants that haven't fully sprouted yet, and bring them here. Then I'll see what the Atal Haze can do. You might think I'm vengeful. Actually, you'd be right about that. Truth is, I know the way out of here. But until Larian will admit that I'm right, I'm staying right here. So off we go, find those blood petal sprouts, and let's have some fun. Oh, we have... We had 9 out of the 15 we needed. This is going to take 3. So I'll just do this. Here goes nothing, Eric Erickson. <laughs> this will get Larian's attention. See you later. I hope this works. He's got the blood petal sprouts. He's going to put the haze on him. Uh, this spawns the pests here. Look at them go. <laughs> Hilarious. Okay. What pest sprouts? We just released a whole bunch of pests here. Cool. They're just walking all over the place, making a nuisance of themselves. Something right here. Now that we only have six of these, the amount of time it took us to find nine, I was I was content with trying to find six more, but now that we need nine more, debating debating whether I want to bother with that. I guess it all comes down to how many we find here. We need to make our way down to the hot springs, I believe. To turn in this other quest we got. It's just a repeatable quest. It doesn't even tell me what the rewards would be. Can we, can we accept the quest? Or is it just completing the quest? Can't sell these or anything. Probably just gives a little bit of experience. Not something I'm hugely in need of right now. I just won't bother with that. One less thing to worry about right now. So. At least we've got some use out of it for that other quest. But I am content to see that off for the time being. Ah, Rude. Diamond flask. Get all that strength left going. For these incidental look, incidental times, we just need to fight a few things. Strength buff is always appreciated. Alright. And we get a soil to sell. So that's something. Let's make a good heading. Right down this way. That should get us where we're going. Shoo. Okay. Yeah, we're really clearing out a bunch of these items. We saw this lower map fragment. We need an upper and middle map fragment. Don't even know where we got this one though, so the likelihood of finding the other two halves of this is very low. Very low indeed. I 
And this is the letter that we need to bring to Silithus. Okay. Alright. I can work with all that. Be attacked by all sorts of random stuff as we make our way through here. It doesn't look like we need to activate this or anything. That's just going to be a straight 3% increased mount speed. It's pretty nice. I can appreciate that. Aggroing all the Demetrodons. Leave me alone. Here he is. Hello there. What's up? I would go myself, but I'm a little scared of the fire elementals there. That's fair. That's fair. Here's your thermometer back. Yes, I definitely see the correlation here between the temperature of the volcano and the hot springs. I'll have to double check my equations for accuracy, but it seems like the distance and the rate that he has transferred. Hmm. Now I've heard about other hot springs in a place called Winter Spring, further north of here. The strange thing is, there are no volcanoes anywhere near them. Interesting, I know. Well, if you want to find out more, you should head to Winter Spring and speak to a friend of mine. Her name is Denova Snowden. She's currently staying by the hot springs there. Thanks again for helping me with my thermometer. See you later. Try to understand and talk to her. Right back! That's another Winter Springs quest. There's a mithril deposit. Alright, let's go get that. That is still something I'm very much interested in having more of. We're down to nine quests on our list. Two of which we're just going to be throwing away instantly. Another quest that we're going to be trying to finish today. <sighs> Definitely going to be enough experience, I would think. And worst case scenario, we just attack a few things. I'm still interested in doing a few other things independent of whether we get to level 58 before we head through the portal. Most importantly, I want to explore the rest of the areas that we haven't been to. Probably going to split it up a bit. Going to explore some areas, finish some of the more of the quests we've done, explore the rest of the areas, and then at that point we'll probably be ready to go. Might also go do a whole bunch of fishing, just to get that up to 300. Blacksmithing is going to be more of a problem, I imagine. So we need to get. If we can get to 250, there's some options there, but we will see how that progresses. I don't really feel like spending all my money leveling up blacksmithing right now. But then, once we get through the portal, I doubt there's going to be much mithril there. Since that's already kind of been usurped by thorium, for the most part. Where do we need to go here? Near the Valor's Rest Graveyard of Silithus. Okay. There's some... Silithus collected thing. Four and five out of 200. That's not a lot. That's not a lot. Okay, this is Valor's Rest. So, it's right over here. Perfect. That's quick. Here, I got a letter for you. Past lives in these wastes, warrior. You must be careful to not awaken it. It's a dangerous land to be so casual, warrior. What brings you to the wastes of Silithus? I got a letter. Rabine sent you, did he? Well, consider yourself welcomed here, as much as this desolate and forsaken land can welcome someone. I wasn't alive during the time of the great tribulations that took place here. There are parts of this desert that might as well be eerie pictures of that forgotten past. With your help, the Cenarian Circle might be able to br 
to bring finality to a threat that was supposed to have died generations ago. And he's got a quest for us, which we're not going to do. To our southwest lies a tragic site, the ruins of South Wind Village. This is where our work should begin, Eric Erickson. From what we've learned, this village was once a night elf base of operations for Silithus. It's long since overrun by the Silithid hives that infest the wastes. I can only imagine the horror of the village's initial su sun sundering. The tortured spirit of fallen druids and sentinels wander the ruins aimlessly. Sword this locale, freeing the souls of these wretched beings as needed. So, fight some ghosts. May the stars guide you. No thanks. Yeah, we're definitely getting very close to the end here. As far as getting level 58 is concerned. Eight quests. A significant amount of exploration. And probably a bit of fishing. But first... I'm gonna look around Silithus. Even if we're not gonna do any quests here, it's still worth it to check out what's here. So we will start with that next time. Goodbye.